what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel where we have this question on the board which says determine all roots real or complex of the following simultaneous equations x plus y plus z is equal to 3 x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 3 and x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3. so we can just say let's x y and z be the roots be the roots of the cubic polynomial so cubic polynomial well using cubic polynomial to solve this kind of a question can make it a bit easy so the cubic polynomial is t cubed plus a t squared plus b t plus c equal to zero so our next step will be to say let s1 be equal to the first equation which is x plus y plus z and that is equal to 3 and we can say let s2 be equal to the second equation that we have which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared and that is also equal to 3 and lastly we can say s3 be equal to the last equation which is s cube plus y cube plus z cube and that is also equal to 3. Our next step will be for us to generate three equations that we can use to solve this question easily and what are these three equations? s1 so I'm going to be writing s1 plus a equal to 0 so this is the first equation the second one will be s2 plus a s1 plus 2b so i'm going to be writing 2b equal to zero so this is our second equation and the third one will be s3 plus a s2 plus b s1 plus now this becomes 3c 3c equal to zero so this is our third equation so let's solve these equations one after the other so i'm going to be starting with the first one i'll say from equation one s1 the value of s1 is three so i'm going to be putting three there plus a equal to zero so i can move this three to the right hand side to become negative three so a will be equal to negative three now i'm going to be solving the second equation this time around so let's go ahead and solve the second equation now this time we are doing from equation 2 so from equation 2 s2 we already have s2 to be 3 plus a a is negative 3 remember we just got a as negative 3 s1 is 3 plus 2b equal to 0 so this becomes 3 negative 3 times 3 that's negative 9 plus 2b equal to zero so this gives us negative six plus two b equal to zero so i'm going to be moving this negative six to the right hand side so that i have two b to be equal to six so therefore dividing both sides by two i have b equal to six divided by two and this is equal to three so remember i've already got the value for a a is negative three now i've got the value for b which is three now our next step will be to take the third equation so i'm going to be saying from the equation three equation three s3 is three remember plus a remember we got a to be negative three s2 is three plus b we got b to be three times s1 s1 is also three plus three c equal to zero so this becomes 3, negative 3 times 3, that's negative 9, plus 3 times 3, that's 9, plus 3c equal to 0. So what do I have here? I have negative 9 plus 9, this is gone already. So I have 3 plus 3c equal to 0. When I move 3 to the right hand side, I now have 3c to be equal to negative 3. And dividing both sides by 3, c will be equal to negative 3 
divide by 3, I'll be having negative 1. So I have the value for A, B, and C. A is negative 3, B is 3, and C is equal to negative 1. So I'm going to be putting this value for A, B, and C in our cubic equation for our final answer. Remember the cubic equation? We have t cubed plus a t squared plus b t plus c equal to 0. So now let's substitute the values for a, b, and c. So this becomes t cubed. a is negative 3, so this is negative 3 t squared plus b is 3, so 3 t. c is negative 1, so I'm going to be writing negative 1 equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation that we're going to be solving. I'll be using the remainder theorem to solve this question. And one of the factors of t cubed minus 3t squared plus 3t minus 1 is t minus 1. So using t minus 1 to divide t cubed minus 3t squared plus 3t minus 1, I'm going to be having t squared minus 2t plus 1 equal to 0. So on factorizing, you notice when I factorize this, I'm going to be having t minus 1 times t minus 1. Now, notice that I have three terms equal. And when I multiply this, I have t minus 1 raised to the power of 3 equal to 0. So, what are the roots? t is equal to 1. So therefore, the value for x is equal to the value for y, and this is also equal to the value for z, and they are all equal to 1. And there are no other solutions. There are no other solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.